Did you know that you could let your crypto work for you and earn even more crypto? In this video, we will go through three different methods for earning cryptocurrencies in such a simple way that you will be able to start using them right away. So let's start with yield farming. Yield farming means putting your crypto to work and generating rewards for doing so. In practice, you put your crypto coins in a liquidity pool from which other users can borrow it. For providing that service, you get a reward. That reward is calculated in APY, which stands for Annual Percentage Yield, and that is your rate of return for your crypto. You probably wonder how much APY can be earned. If you deposit your money in a savings account at a bank, you will earn somewhere around 0.5% APY. On the other hand, one of the popular lending platforms Aave offers up to 11%. Our next method is staking. Staking is a process of becoming a validator on a blockchain. You can only stake coins that use proof-of-stake consensus mechanism. So every new transaction needs to be validated before being added to the blockchain. When you stake your crypto, you are actually validating transactions, and by doing so, you are securing the blockchain network. For that, you receive a reward in the form of a new coin. You can easily stake your coins on many popular crypto exchanges such as Coinbase, Binance or Crypto.com. Check my previous video to learn how to stake your crypto on Crypto.com app. But be careful when choosing which cryptocurrency you want to stake because it can easily drop in price and wipe off your staking gains. There are two types of staking. Flexible is when you can withdraw your crypto at any time and log staking is when you have to log your coins and cannot withdraw them until the end of locking period which can be up to 2 years with Ethereum 2.0. Because you are not obligated to lock your crypto, you will earn less reward for flexible staking compared to locked. Now, let's move to our last method and that is liquidity providing. To understand this, you will have to know what a liquidity pool is. Liquidity pool is simply a collection of cryptocurrencies that are locked in a smart contract and secured by it. Decentralized exchanges such as Uniswap use those pools to create liquidity for some coins and earn on transaction fees. Those fees are then redistributed back to liquidity providers. Let's take a quick example. Let's say you have $100 and you want to provide liquidity with ETH and Aave. So you will put $50 of each coin into liquidity pool. If the total amount in liquidity pool is $1000, that means you own 10% of that entire pool. In some period of time, 100k of ETH and Aave gets traded on Uniswap. Uniswap fee for this pair is 0.3% so you will earn $30 for that amount of transactions on Uniswap protocol. Those three methods for earning cryptocurrencies unfortunately don't come without risks. The most common risk with liquidity providing is impermanent loss. Impermanent loss happens when one of the trading pairs increase or decrease in price. Because of this balance in a liquidity pool, one of the pairs is sold for less price and that results in a missed gains. Another thing to consider is rug pool which describes a scam project in which developers take investors' money and leave them with empty pockets. And last but not least comes volatility. Your crypto can drop in price and if you need money in the short term, you might need to sell it for lower price than you actually bought. That's why you should only invest the money that you won't be needing in the near future and be sure to always do a good research before investing in a crypto project. With all this said, I want to disclaim that this is not a financial advice and that you should always do your own research. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel and press that like button to show me that this is the type of the content you want to see in the future. See you soon!